Hello again, everybody. In uh, episode four of the uh, video series on steam locomotive kits, we're going to be doing a really critical job on the mechanical stuff. We're going to be installing the uh, side rods, main rods, cross heads, and the valve gear, which uh, requires quite a bit of intricate work uh, riveting together all those little pieces that you, you saw in the introduction. So, uh, Hopefully it comes together and still runs. And uh, so that's the objective, of course. So uh, here we go with that detailed mechanical assembly. Well, in preparation for a mechanical assembly, which is probably the next thing coming up, I've gone through and identified all the parts that go into the valve gear and so on. And there's a lot of them. I believe it adds up to about 50 parts covering both sides. So here's what's uh, in that group. There's some uh, hex machine screws here, some spacers, the crank pin screws, three special rivets here that connect the main rods uh, to the cross heads. Here are the side rods and the main rods. Here are the two cross heads, left and right, they're different. Well, they're mirror images. Two cross head guides. And these last three holes here are for tender parts. And here we have combination levers, the valve rods themselves, a little piece called the crosshead link, uh, transmission rods, radius links, and radius rods. And we're not quite done yet. And finally, in this tray, we have the eccentric cranks here some 0090 machine screws. Here's a package of little tiny rivets for riveting the valve gear together. And last but not least, we got these things called valve gear hangers. And these are really important parts because they're gonna tie the whole valve gear together. And uh, well, you'll see them in action eventually <laughs> once they're installed. So that's all the parts for the mechanical assembly. It's quite a few. Uh, before I start putting them together, I'm probably going to paint the chassis. I feel the need to paint it before I start covering stuff up with mechanical gear. And so to paint it, I'll, I'll put all the screws into screw holes where there are a few so the paint doesn't get into the threads. But other than that, we're ready to start putting this mechanical stuff together. Here's the uh, chassis set up for painting. As you can see, the valve hangers and the crosshead guides have been put on here. So that filled this screw hole right here because it's got the screw in. Also, I plugged the uh, axle openings right here with some rolled up paper towels to keep paint from getting in there. Other than that, it's just going to be spray away. Uh, I do have the front coupler cover on here with its screw in place. And uh, there's the top of the screw right there, so it's going to get painted. And uh, anyway, we're going to proceed with painting. Well, here we have the underframe all painted, a little work with the airbrush, and uh, the first paint got sprayed. So there's a little progress. Well, getting serious now about the mechanical assembly. Here is the first side rod installed on the left side, as you can see, and the acid test. And it looks like it's working fine with no adjustment needed, so uh, that's good news. So one down, one to go on the side rods. And now, got the right side side rod installed also. So both rods are on. And again, the rolling test. And looks good. So far, so good. I think that tells us the quartering of the drivers is good all the way around. 
Well, the next thing is riveting the main rods to the cross heads. So uh, here they are. It seems successful. They swivel nice and free like they're supposed to. And that's the rivet right there. Well, the next part of the assembly has been putting on the left side main rod, cross head, the cross head guides, and the valve hanger all in one assembly, hooking it up together, and uh, now it's supposed to roll. And so once again, we do our rolling test here. And it's pretty good. Does it have a little glitch? I can't really feel it. I do a little filing on the valve hanger to keep the rod from hitting it. I'll just watch it for a little while and make sure it does need some more filing. But it's pretty much there, it looks like. Well, now the right side main rod, cross head, cross head guide, and valve gear hanger are installed also. So uh, we've got the side rods and main rods on both sides here. And once again, time for the rolling test. And luckily, it seems okay. There was a lot of critical stuff there. So far, so good. Well, we got the left side valve gear assembled. And this is what it looks like, kind of laid flat on a table, although it doesn't lie flat very well. But you got the cross head here, the main rod, the eccentric, eccentric crank. <laughs> That's a tough one to say. You know, connecting rod there, a lever here, another rod here. This is the valve gear rod. Of course, the cross heads here and a connecting link, another connecting link. Got a lot of little moving parts here. And these uh, brass colored things you see are the rivet heads. I'll put a dab of paint on them later. But uh, that's what the valve gear looks like. Ready to uh, try to put it on the frame. Well, building and installing the valve gear is probably the most dreaded part of a steam locomotive build. But here's the left side valve gear, all installed. A lot of complicated stuff going on there. I don't know if you can see all of it very well in the video. But uh, time once again for the infamous rolling test. And there we go. It seems to be working. That's just the left side, so the right side is next. Hopefully, it'll come out the same. Well, the right side valve gear is now installed. So both sides are installed. So all the mechanical stuff is in there. Uh, so here's the acid test again. We'll see if it'll run. Well, I think it's a case of so far so good. That's a big moment there.